I actually thought that I was not experienced enough, didn't have the credentials I needed to actually become an astronaut. The reason I'd want to go to space with Woody isn't just because he's brilliant, which he is, but it's because he carries his brilliance in such a way that you don't feel like you're an idiot when you're around him. It's funny all the little decisions in life that get you to where you're going. My earliest memories, I remember building little toys out of wood. Over time, got to building like 21 foot tall uh, rockets and one of those is still up at my parents' place, stored in their barn. I remember agonizing over what my major should be and finally I sort of threw up my hands and said I really like airplanes and things that fly so I'll do aerospace engineering. One of the best decisions of my life was taking summers away from grad school to work search and rescue in Yosemite. One of my favorite parts of the job was getting thrown into situations where I wasn't quite sure what to do. The confidence I gained from that was that I can deal with the unexpected and adapt and overcome. The other great thing about Woody is he applies that brilliance across all phases of his life, whether it's in the outdoors where he basically saved half our class from getting severe hypothermia like it was no big deal. And then uh, on his very first uh, space station sim, nonchalantly directed uh, the whole team through an emergency response like he'd done it a hundred times. I've always had a slight tension in me between sort of the engineer, analytical, problem-solving part of me and this sort of operational side of me that wanted to be out experiencing the world with my hands. I feel really lucky to be here now where I have an opportunity to do operational things but also solve really hard technical problems. When we go do hard things and challenge ourselves in that way, we will learn new things that will benefit us. Ladies and gentlemen, our next newest astronaut, Woody Hoberg. I'm an engineer, I'm a pilot, I'm a climber, and I'm now a NASA astronaut.